Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web, and I've got my Air Venturi Avenger. Mine is a 25 caliber. And guys, last time I shot it, I shot it straight out the box as it came. Regulator set at 2,900 PSI, which is super high. And I was checking for accuracy in my last video, and I noticed that it didn't take long for the POI to actually drop. I was hitting the bull for a few shots, and then it started dropping till it was about half inch, sometimes I think an inch below the bowl, and I said, hmm, I wonder what, the, what an efficient setting is on the regulator for my Air Venturi Avenger. I wanna get max power without wasting air. 1,200, 1,400, 2,000, 2,200, 2,400, 2,700, 2,800, 2,900, I keep wanting to call this the Air Venturi Adventure. <laughs> it's close, I know, to Avenger, but guys, this thing is so much fun. And one of the cool things about it is all the adjustments, most of the adjustments, I will say, are right there on the outside of the gun. So you don't have to be an expert like Rick Utzler to customize it in some ways to yourself. So guys, like I said, I wanna find out what is the most efficient setting. Of course, I want high power. I plan to do some hunting. And if I'm not hunting, I'm gonna be smacking some steel with some lead, which I love to do. So, what do I need to do to find out what the most efficient setting is for me? Highest power, without wasting air. Hmm. I'm gonna go on a little Avenger adventure. I shot it over the chronograph as is with the reg set at 2,900 PSI. Yeah, I was getting an average of 903 feet per second and 45.98 foot-pounds of energy. So I want to get exactly that or as close to it as I can without wasting air. So what I did, guys, well, let's just get started. Check it out. Is not loaded and it is on safe. So first, guys, I'm gonna have to decrease the regulator since it's set at max. I wanna see what's the lowest setting I can set it at and get the same amount of power. So to decrease the reg setting, you must empty the air reservoir completely. Before I forget, I'm going to go ahead and um, close this, it's already all the way leaked out, close this up. Don't do it too tight, but just snug it up. There we go. To completely decrease the regulator to its lowest setting, first of course release the air, then you're going to turn the regulator screw adjuster clockwise until it stops. Don't do it tight, just until you feel it hit. And then you're going to turn it back a quarter of a turn. First, I'm gonna place this little rubber thing back in here so I do not lose it. Then you're gonna fill your air gun back up. It may take five shots to get the reg to set where you want it, where you've set it at, and some people would dry fire it I'm not one for dry firing. Some guns it may damage, some it may not. I just go ahead and load some pellets in, shoot five pellets, and then it's set. So with the reg set at 1,200, I was getting an average of 561 FPS. That's 17.75 FPE. And that's great if you are a plinker or maybe you just wanna shoot some squirrels with it because that's plenty enough to shoot a squirrel or a rat like 110 of them. <laughs> Those are 40 yards, guys. Super, super low. I did not shoot many at the 1,200 because I knew I didn't want to stay there, but I was actually aiming at this bull and they hit way down here. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna shoot anymore because 
There is an all kinds of shortage right now with COVID going on, so I really don't want to shoot like what was like 110 pellets that this could get on low power. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Let's go ahead and adjust the regulator. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. And you do not have to empty the air cylinder to increase the regulator setting, only to decrease it. To increase the regulator, move the safety to safe. Fill the rifle to 300 bar. I knew upping it to 1400 wasn't gonna get me where I wanted to be, so I upped it to 1800. All right, there we go. All right, aiming for the top bowl. And at 1800, I was getting an average FPS of 831, and that's 38.94 foot-pounds of energy. So I'm not quite where I want it yet. The accuracy is actually quite lovely. So the next setting I did was 2,200 PSI. And with that one, I got an average FPS of 894, 45.07 foot-pounds of energy. So still, guys, we're getting a little closer, but not exactly where I want it. And I upped it to 2,300. And with that, I got 898 feet per second and 45.47 foot-pounds. That is getting super, super close. We're almost there. Going through some pellets today, guys. Going through some awesome pellets today. This time to 2,400, and now, now, average feet per second, 903. That's super familiar, isn't it? Absolutely. And this one is too. The foot-pounds of energy was 45.98. That's pretty good, 25 cal. This one's gonna be a good hunter. So it's the same exact thing I was getting when the thing was set at 2,900 um, PSI. Well guys, I guess that's about it. I hope that helps you out. I know some people don't own a chronograph, so it would be kind of difficult to tell where the right setting would be for you. So I really hope this helps you guys out that don't have a chronograph, depending on what you guys wanna do with your Air Venturi Avenger. Guys, make it your own. That's it for today, guys. I'm Aragon Angie. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all don't just have a good day. Like always, guys, have an awesome one. See ya. Hey guys, Airgun Angie with Airgun Web. I've got the Avenger here again. Why? Because, like I've said guys, this is an adventure in the box. That sounded really stupid. <laughs>